meteorologist Holden LaCroix. Been a busy 48 hours and we're not done just yet. As you take a live look towards downtown Eugene again, looks like snow on the rooftops that is sleet kind of with a glaze of ice. We were kind of expecting this yesterday. We had some light freezing rain move overnight last night and it acted like a glaze across cars, trees, roadways out there, and that has been causing worse issues today than we had yesterday. And that goes to show that sleet is not a bad thing. It's the freezing rain is the issue. And luckily we just had the freezing rain last night, not all day yesterday because matters could have been a lot worse across the region. Nevertheless, as we take a live look towards downtown 26 degrees, we are not going to get above freezing until Tuesday night, and we actually have another storm that's going to be approaching by that time frame as well. You folks down in Roseburg, it has been balmy 45 degrees. We even had landslide issues. You guys saw about four inches of rain up into the Umpqua yesterday that led to landslides on 238. Luckily that has cleared now, but if you're south, say of Cottage Grove, please be mindful of landslides and the potential flooded roadways over the next couple of days as we kind of get this moisture moving out toward the ocean. So let's take a look at road closures across the region right now. First, we're going to take a look at I-5. This is headed south toward the Cottage Grove area. This has been a trouble spot all day. We didn't necessarily have the sleet and snow that we saw towards areas of Eugene, but what happened yesterday evening is we had the rainfall during the day. Temperature dropped below freezing, and it has led to an ice rink on I-5 as you head south down towards Grants Pass. So again, drive slow. Again, we've had numerous spin outs and closures down towards there as well. Eastbound lanes again of 126. That's impacting roadways all the way up into the Cascades. This is due to the down trees, icy conditions across Eugene. We haven't had the closures, but numerous accidents on the Beltline 105. You can see traffic average speed right now about 45 miles per hour up towards Sweet Home. This is US 20. This has been closed all day as you head out towards Sandingham Pass. This is going to remain closed due to down trees and the icy conditions out toward the Oregon coast 126. Highway 36, this is going to remain closed. Icy conditions, I have some pictures on my Facebook. You can see the horrible conditions of downed trees out towards the Oregon coast. And the reason why, Arctic air mass back off to the east, warmer temperatures to the south. Again, we are still going to be seeing the concern of flooding conditions down toward Douglas County. Icy conditions, Eugene North all the way through Tuesday. And yes, here is our next storm system. This is going to approach as we head towards Tuesday. It's not going to be as bad, but we are going to have a round of heavy freezing rain Tuesday evening as this storm system moves in and the culprit is the cold air in place. So timing things out, draw your attention Tuesday evening. That is going to be the concern day. You do not want to be driving at 5 p.m. on Tuesday. Heavy freezing rain from Eugene all the way up to Portland. Milder rains are on the way as we head into the weekend, luckily, but you can see fog across the region develops again and temperatures are going to be around 21 degrees. So that means freezing fog once again overnight tonight. Another glaze on roadways. We see sunshine on Monday. Temperature going to be around 31 degrees, but I will tell you when we have that direct sunlight on the snow, that is going to help melting some of that ice across the region. Here we go. 2 30 uh, Tuesday afternoon. You can see the freezing rain starting to develop across areas of Eugene Corvallis. That's going to spread even more inland as we head towards the evening hours. I five ice is expected as we head toward Tuesday and eventually Milder rains are on the way as we head toward Wednesday, as you can see there. Seven day forecast for the coast. I want to talk about rain and wind. Tuesday, Wednesday, gusts near 45 miles per hour. The Umqua Basin, 46 degrees. Monday afternoon again, cold rain on Tuesday, 48 degrees. Breezy conditions as we head towards Wednesday. For the Cascade Passes, this is actually a little bit troublesome. We've been talking about the snow needed up there. We're seeing warmer temperatures as we head toward next weekend. We're going to be watching that closely. Hopefully that pattern changes But for the Willamette Valley for MLK Day 31 degrees. The big thing about tomorrow is we have the sunshine, even though it's below freezing, we should start to see some melting by the afternoon. The unfortunate situation Tuesday, another round of freezing rain. Eugene all the way up to Portland mm -hmm. and then Wednesday we should Wednesday be okay. we should be able to melt all of this away. Temperatures get up to near 50 degrees and once we head into the weekend, it's going to be a distant memory. <laughs> all right, sure hope so. Holden, thank you, of course. All right, coming up here, why 